Uh, and so I would like to welcome now uh, uh, Alan Turing's nephew, Sir John Dermot Turing, to officially open the Alan Turing Building. Well, I'd like to thank the Vice Chancellor for his remarks and also to the Open University for inviting the Turing family to be here today. It's obviously an immense pleasure to be here and to uh, be uh, given the honour of uh, opening the Alan Turing Building. Um, this caused me a slight problem when I was invited to do this um, because, it, in, in a sense, it was my own small and scheidungs problem the question what to say in about three minutes that's suitable to uh, an occasion like this and then i realized actually on thinking about it my father had actually prepared the ground for me because he wrote quite extensively about his famous brother and um i mean most of it's about untidiness and the difficulty of getting small boys into sailor suits and uh my grandfather's reaction to school reports but some of some of what he said is is, is this the only person in the household who was forever exasperated with alan constantly nagging him about his dirty habits his slovenliness his clothes and his offhand manners was my mother if this was due to some early recognition of his genius she was certainly doing nothing to foster it by trying to press him into a conventional mold needless to say she achieved nothing by it but except a dogged determination on alan's part to remain as unconventional as possible more discerning than my parents was the headmaster of the prep school to which we boys were sent. If he had been a little more discerning, or Alan had been less obstinate in his refusal to admit anything to his scheme of things except mathematics, geography and the art of origami, he might even have groomed Alan for the stardom of a scholarship at Sherbourne, but in those days it must have seemed a preposterous idea. At this prep school there was a splendid mathematics master by the name of Blinkins. I suspect that by being able to sympathise with slow learners, he was an excellent teacher. He could even explain the mystic symbol X to the dimmest. But his explanation infuriated Alan. Absolute rubbish, said Alan. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He would then explain the true nature of X at great length. For my part, I preferred Blenkins' version. <laughs> so it seems to me wholly appropriate for the Open University to have a building named after Alan Turing in which the true nature of X can actually be explained to the world. And so I think that's probably my cue to pull the cord and declare the building open. I hope I have greater success than with the PowerPoint. Yay. Thank mm -hmm. you.